Nine bizarre facts about the United Kingdom you won't believe are true. The United Kingdom used to be two little islands that until England was connected to France by the Channel Tunnel were quite happy as a self-contained unit, complete with their own laws and ideal increases. With history that goes back for what seems like forever, you have to expect one or two rules, regulations and laws that are going to be a little eccentric. There have been many rulers of this little island, and as can be expected, all were keen to make their mark in one way or another. This is how the UK has ended up having so many ridiculously inane and archaic laws, a great amount of which incredibly are still applicable today. If you are new here, welcome. Please do all to subscribe and turn post notification so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos. There are also some odd facts that you would not expect would apply to such a relatively small place as the United Kingdom. Some are more believable than others, but nevertheless, all are true, and this video gives several examples, including some of the more ridiculous entries that the population of the UK has had to endure over the years. Number 1. London has the world's busiest airport system. Strange as it may seem, London has the busiest city airport system in the whole world. Although Heathrow is only the third busiest in the world alone, by passenger numbers, the airport system records refer to the combined figures for all the airports within the city or metropolitan area. To this end, London comes out at the top of this list as it has a total of six individual airports, although that figure pales into insignificance when you consider that there are in fact a total of 471 airfields and airports within the UK, along with 11 heliports. Number 2. The Queen isn't freely allowed into London. The sovereign of the United Kingdom, you might imagine, could, if they so desired, go anywhere in the country they wanted to. Alas, this is not so, as even the current monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, cannot enter the city of London without the express permission of the Lord Mayor. Number 3. It is divided into almost a hundred individual counties. For what is, to all intents and purposes, a very small place, the UK has an absolute abundance of regional counties, 92 in total. These range from the largest, Yorkshire in England, at 6,066 square miles, to Clarkmanonshire in Scotland, at a somewhat smaller 48 square miles. It doesn't end there either, as within these boundaries there are assemblies, authorities, councils, county councils, district councils, county borough councils, city councils and city county councils, and when you get past these, you are then under the jurisdiction of town councils or parish councils, and each area has its own dedicated council building, generally one that is either rather elaborate or nothing more than a 1960s concrete block. Number 4. It has only had 9 monarchs. Although the individual countries are centuries old, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland was only born on the 1st of May 1707, although it has been amended twice, first in 1801 and again in 1922. During this period, there have only been nine monarchs on the throne as rulers of the kingdom, four Georges, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, two Edwards, seven and eighth, one William, fourth, one Victoria, and the current Queen Elizabeth, second. Number 5. The UK sees tourist equivalent to 50% of its population. For what, in comparison to Australia or the US, is a very small place, the UK has more than its fair share of overseas visitors. It is estimated that somewhere in the region of 30 million people make the trip every year, more often than not for the sight as opposed to the weather. There is so much to see no matter which part of the UK you visit, but it is fair to say that London does attract the most tourists, and it appears that it is the historical aspect that appeals to most, due largely to it having a considerably older history than many other countries in the world. Number 6. The bridge that fell down a thousand years ago. You must have heard that London Bridge is falling down, nursery rhyme. Did you know that this rhyme might be over a thousand years old? The Saxons destroyed London bridges and boats and ropes to tear it down. People think that this is how the rhyme originated. Number 7. The movies exaggerate a lot. 
Contrary to what appears to be popular belief, not everyone in the UK talks like the Queen or James Bond for that matter. Neither does the normal person live in a house anything like what we would consider a castle, a manor or stately home. The land is not crowded with grinding mills, with folk doffing their hats or tugging their forelocks at the landed gentry. And no matter what you have been told, everyone does not sound like Dick Van Dyke in the film Mary Poppins either. Number 8. Inventors of Champagne Controversially, in 1662, the British physicist and naturalist Christopher Merritt was the first person to document the deliberate addition of sugar to wine, essentially creating the feast we love today. Dom Perignon is commonly considered the first person to invent champagne later, in 1697. Either ways, they both stumbled on something delicious. Number 9. Inventors of Stamps The UK was the first country to use postage stamps. Issued in May 1840, the first stamp was known as the Penny Black and featured the then monarch, Queen Victoria. England is now the only country in the world that doesn't have its name on its stamps, probably due to its history, and putting a postage stamp with the Queen's image upside down is considered an act of treason. Something you might want to give a miss next time you're sending a postcard. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do well to hit the like button, drop a comment below, and turn on post notification so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos.